How's it going, boys and girls? My name is Michael SK, and welcome back to Grisaya Phantom Trigger Volume 4. I am so sorry for the lack of uploads, pretty much in general, not just for this playthrough. I've had a lot of issues with my computer for the past two weeks, and I've been unable to really actually use it for the past two weeks. There's actually a, uh, a long like period where my computer was completely unusable, so I am very fucking sorry for the lack of uploads of Grisaya Phantom Trigger, but I am back. Uh, I, I saw that a lot of people watched the first episode, so there seems to be some interest in this playthrough. I will continue to be very pessimistic ab about this because of just how the last volume went, but I, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I'd still like to see where the story goes. I mean, I started it. I guess I got to finish it. So I'm down to continue on the adventure with you guys through Grisaya Phantom Trigger. Uh, that being said, I have no idea what the fuck happened in the last episode, so uh, this will this will definitely be a little um, I don't know. Uh, I'm I'm just gonna be confused, I guess. But nothing's new. But everything's new with the computer. I should be able to complete this playthrough no problem. Same with the other things I'm doing on the channel. So uh, let's get to it, man. Uh, apparently, class is about to start, and we got to take our seats. And now I have no idea what's going on. Are, are there not any students? Apparently not. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> じゃあ、個人で楽しむ程度にとどめておくよ。楽しまないでください。こうしてね、日常の何気ない風景を見ていると、自分が何のために<笑><笑> Wow, how fantastic. It's a good thing we have like 30 fucking desks for one student. You know what? I'm, I'm sorry to like break the flow, but the music is like really loud. Uh, uh, BGM. We're gonna turn that down to a nice 30. I'm sorry, but <laughs> things are just a little bit too loud on that part. トーカとグミはグミの編入手続きで行われるトライアウトに参加中。トライアウト要は三浜でスナイパーとして使い物になるかどうかテストされているんだよ。本来なら射手と観測手と教官の3人で行う試験なんだけど。トーカは教官の資格を持っているからね。スポッター兼監督として、グミの試験に立ち会っているってわけだね。マキもまた、三浜の活動資格の取得で不在だよ。マキは技能と筆記をパスしたから、今日は面談でサーズの精神科医と話
初級のビギナーは緑バッジ中級のアドバンスドは青バッジ上級のスペシャリストは赤バッジがもらえるよそしてスペシャリストの赤バッジを持ってると世界中で活躍するために必要なユニバーサルランクへの昇級資格がもらえるんだ。Ah, showing off the ninja skills, and that's skills with a Z. Ninja, ni, kokusai shikaku ga aru n d e s k a r yo. Universal rank wa zenbu de go shurui. Ninja junior wa batchi nashi. Novice ninja wa do batchi. Expert ninja wa gin batchi. Ninja master wa kin batchi. Watashi ga motte ru no wa kore da ne. So shite zen ninja no akogare. グランドマスター忍者になると赤線入りの金バッジがもらえるんだあっフッ私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は言うと私は国際忍者協会から正式な仕事の依頼が来るようになってお給金がもらえるようになるよ紫さんもその協会からお給金をもらっているんですかいや私はハルトに奉公しているからね地方公共団体からの報給という形で手当を受けているから給金の出どころは先生と同じだね。I actually had no idea these guys got paid, but I guess that'd make a lot more sense since they're going on these dangerous ass jobs that we'd see Yuji go on back in the day. Except they're not as flashy. I mean, Yuji's jobs weren't flashy, these are, and ridiculous. Need I say more? You're goddamn right! Right? So? No, 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 no. They gotta play catch up. So, today is a school school. Do you want to go to the school school? Eh? Is it fine? If you don't want to be angry, you won't be angry. 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 If you want to be angry, I'll be angry. I'll be angry. I'll be angry. Eh, why not? As long as there's not a discussion of food, I think we'll all be good. The ninja and I, so we already finished a chapter. そう、バンブースピアつまり竹槍の授業だね物騒な授業をしているとは聞いていましたけど想像していたよりも牧歌的というかともすれば微笑ましくもありそうな授業ですねそうかい人を傷つける道具の使い方とその心構えを教える授業だからね遊び半分でやってれば怪我をするしあまりほのぼのとしたものとは思えないけどそういうものですか私も気を引き締めますほらもう始まってるみたいだよ Oh shit what's gonna happen This looks a lot more ridiculous than I thought <coughs> Oh I gotta finally do some talking instead of just my stupid ass commentary Finally Right everyone today you'll be learning how to use bamboo spears But as well as turning all of you into top-notch bamboo soldiers, our aim here today is to make sure you learn to adopt the right frame of mind for handling these weapons. Understood? Hi! Why is she participating with the children? What the fuck? Uh... What are you doing here, Rena? 
You're a grown up. You need to stick to grown ups classes. That excuse doesn't work. Don't you feel the teeniest bit pathetic saying that? It's honestly pretty sad to hear. Okay then, why don't you introduce yourself to the class? Tell them you've got the brain of an 8 year old. God damn, that, that hurt more to read than whenever Machina speaks in any of the older Grusaya games. Not a moment's hesitation. You've got guts, I'll give you that. I don't know. I feel like you set a bad example for the class. God damn, Haruto. Right, everybody. I want you to listen to this. Miss Rena here once fired off 243 shots in a single battle. <laughs> what in the fuck? No, she isn't. <laughs> but you see, that's why I said she was a bad role model. She obviously doesn't need all those bullets. It's not like she's a Hollywood cop or anything. You got that? The first three shots decide the outcome of a gunfight. When three shots aren't enough to wrap things up, no amount of bullets will get the job done. Right then, class. When it comes to small arms, what's your best option? Something that even you could use to defeat the enemy, no question. A gun. Hi, sensei. What the hell does it sound like they recorded that voice in a very, very... I don't know what, I don't know what type of room you'd call it. Like a, a room with echo. A really damp and scary, spooky, and concrete room. I don't even know what I'm getting at anymore. That just didn't sound like good voice quality. True. There's a lot to be said for a cheap, sturdy, and readily available gun that anyone can use. But just because AKs are sturdy doesn't mean they never break. Man, even Arisaka is going to be learning. Oh, you're observing us today, Miss Arisaka. Oh no, I don't mind at all. Can you come here for a second? It's not often I get the chance to ask a teacher this kind of question. So, Miss Arisaka... What do you think is the most powerful weapon available to us? Yeah, even I couldn't answer that. Wait, that actually could be the answer. Hmm. How to embarrass your teacher 101. No, I was just surprised. You're actually spot on. You hear that, everyone? The AK may have a great reputation, but it's not infallible. And there's a limit to how much ammo one person can carry. And without ammunition, guns have no other real uses. Except when you need to carry a coil of barbed wire or something. But that's where this bamboo spear comes in. And it's cheap, widely available, and fully disposable. That's the bamboo spear's greatest strength. True, it's lacking in power compared to a gun. You just need a battle plan that makes a virtue of your weapon's relative lack of power. Nothing's more irritating than being poked in the shins by a weakling... A weakling armed only with a bamboo spear. So basically, bamboo spears have very little power in and of themselves, but they can be a persistent annoyance to your enemy that their minds end up clouded with hate. And that hate turns to anger. It makes them lose all composure. An enemy who's lost their cool like that frightens no one. This tactic was used to great effect 
in the Battle of Saipan by the man most feared by the U.S. Army. Sure, bamboo spears are cheap. You might say they're the cheapest, crappiest weapon around. But the truly weak are those who mock others for their weakness. It's the people who laugh at bamboo spears that die by them. No matter how new your gun is, without any ammo it's useless. One day, when it seems like all hope is lost and you still have to fight on, I'm sure all of you will come to understand the point of today's lesson. I mean, it is bamboo. You're right, they do break easily. But even if your spear breaks, your spirit never will as long as you're determined to fight on. As Miss Arisaka said, the strongest weapons you have are an unbreakable spirit and the courage to get back up again when you're knocked down. It's been said that indomitable spirit is what frightened the Americans into deploying their nuclear weapons. It might be true. Which is why today's lesson is going to be all about the relationship between the unbreakable fighting spirit and the unassuming bamboo spear. Okay, any questions so far? No! No, uh, I didn't mean that kind of question. Is there anything else you'd like to ask me? Like, I don't know, how Japan became allies with the US even though we used to be at war with each other? Alright, go ahead. No! Uh, so, does anyone want to know why we tried to befriend both the USA and the USSR? Anyone? Rena. Hell yeah, you did! Alright, fine. I'm obviously very fond of Rena. Her stupidity and ever growing stomach. Let's see, she eats a lot and she works very hard. And I do like that she's so big and sturdy. Her face, I guess. And her boobs. Yes, that is something you would definitely tell a child. Oh. And then they... They accept it! What the hell? Ah, great. No, you don't. No, you don't. Stop. I knew she'd set a bad example. Right, settle down. Q&A session's over. So we'll start by gathering up some bamboo in the school groves. We can dig up some bamboo shoots too, and have Miss Chris boil them up for us later. Oh, we got nothing better to do. クリスの方を見に行ってみるか。おっしゃ。why the fuck would I buy flowers? I guess Valentine's Day is coming up and that's uh that's something people buy for their significant other. Oh, 
クリスが教えているのは初等部の公平家の子たちだからね公平家ですかうん簡単に言ってしまえば工業学校における電気工学科のようなものかなと言っても弱電も扱うし建築や土木も学ぶから一般的なそれとは少し違うんだけどね幼い頃からいろいろなことを学ぶんですね。Yeah, and I, I wouldn't say it's the best stuff to learn because of the field you're going into. It's not the best field either, but it is what it is. そういう学校だからね。Yep. こんにちは、有坂先生。見学ですか？あ、はい。お邪魔でなければ見学させていただけたらと。見学だけと言わずどうぞ参加なさってください今日はとっても楽しいギフトボムの体験型授業ですよギフトボム贈り物爆弾ですかあ、紫は授業の内容を知ってるでしょ内緒にしてねわかってるさどういう授業なんですかギフトボムそれは最も基本的で人気のある爆弾の利用法です。バレンタインやクリスマスの時期が狙い目ですよ。Oh, great timing. Oh. Oh, shit. さて皆さん、ここにいくつかプレゼントの箱があります。この中で爆弾が仕掛けられていると思うものを各自選んでみてください。はーい。Jesus. いいですか爆弾が仕掛けられているのはたった一つです。その一つを見つけてみてください道具や機材を使って検査しても構いませんが制限時間は3分ですしもし爆発させてしまったらそこで検定は終了です Do I get to play this game too? Please? あのこれって大丈夫なんですか箱を揺すったり叩いたりしている子もいますけど大丈夫ですよ爆発すると言っても発火の代わりに電子音が鳴るだけの装置を作りましたからそういえばクリスさんは爆弾の専門家でしたっけ専門家というほど大げさなものでもありませんけど一応資格は持ってます初等部の子たちに爆弾の作り方を教えていると聞いていましたけど本当にやっているんですねはい爆発物の構造や原理を知らなければ解除もできませんからなるほどと言っても今の時代解除できない爆弾が7割で愉快犯による解除できるように作られている爆弾が2割残りの1割は素人が作ったおもちゃです解除できない爆弾が7割ですかええ日本国内ではめったに見ませんけど私も過去に二度ほど見たことがあるので絶対にないとは言えませんね解除できない爆弾はどうするんですか you accept your fate. 爆破処理するしかないですねできるだけ被害が広がらないように防爆剤で囲ったり移動が可能なものは爆発物処理車の中で爆破したり C4 爆弾なんかはまだ処理の仕様もありますけど北東原や CL20 なんかの高性能剤を使われると正直お手上げです大変なお仕事ですねい,いえ私の仕事は爆弾がどこに仕掛けられているかを予想してそれがどれくらいの破壊規模なのかそして解除可能か否かを短時間で見極めるのが主な仕事です実際の処理に立ち会うこともめったにありませんしニッパーを片手に赤か青かなんて映画のような息を飲む展開もありませんというか赤か青を切れば止まるような親切な爆弾私は見たことがありませんいや、yeah, I can never be that easy そういうものですか Or that simple あいえ私が見たことがないというだけで実際にあるらしいですよ誰がどう見ても爆弾だと一目でわかるようなデザインで親切なことに爆発までのカウントダウンタイマーがついていてお約束の赤と青のコードが露出している爆弾とか
そういった解除してみろって感じの爆弾は作った犯人も爆発させる気は半々だったりするので威力もたかが知れてることが多いですいい機会ですから先生も一つプレゼントを選ばれてはどうでしょう私もですかはい当たりを引いた子は豪華な景品とメダルがもらえますよ Oh shit, let's go for it. Yeah, when there's, a, when there's a prize involved, I mean, you gotta go for it. ドレニシマショコ。クリスさんのお話ではタショランボにを使っても大丈夫だというお話でしたけれど。これは箱が大きいですね。プレゼントの場合、箱が大きい方がいいものが入ってそうな気がしますが。爆弾だと考えると逆に小さい方が怪しいと思えるのが不思議ですこれは迷いますね<笑> Who the hell is this? んあなたは選ばないのですか私のことは放っておいてくれて構わんえ気にするなと言っている好きなのを選ぶがいいあはい先生、放っておいていいよ。その子は少し特殊な子だからね。Special as in like head special or いいんでしょうか。見たところ、仲のいいお友達もいないみたいですけど。先生も学生の頃、あんな子がクラスにいなかったかい周りにいる同学年の子を幼く見てしまうというか、自分はもっと上位の存在で。他とは違うからこんなくだらない子供のお遊びに付き合ってる暇はないって感じの子 No No I don't think I've actually ever met someone like that in the schools I've gone to ああいましたねクラスメートに対して仕方がないから付き合ってやってるって感じでいつも気だるい感じでやる気なさそうな子そんな子でも誰にも負けない何かがあればクラスで一目置かれたりもするんだけど実際はクラスメートから異端視されて孤立して終わるパターンが多いねでもそういう子って下手に構うと余計に孤児になったりするし難しいですね難しい子だから美浜にいるんだよはーい時間切れですよそこまで時間切れです結局あの子プレゼントを選びませんでしたね気にしないでいいよそれがあの子の正解なんだろうでは皆さん各自手にしたプレゼントの箱を開けてみましょう開けていいんですか開けても大丈夫なんでしょうかまあ爆発はしないってクリスも言ってたし大丈夫だとは思うよじゃあそーっと開けてみますねそーっと And? これはおもちゃのネックレスだね私、クマさんのぬいぐるみ How the fuck did... How the hell did all these things fit in those boxes? 私はパンダのおもちゃ、電池で動くやつ私のは目覚ましだけカチカチ言ってたから絶対これだと思ったんだ各自手にしたプレゼントを持ってこちらへ集めてくださいさあこれから起爆しますよ誰の選んだプレゼントが爆発するか楽しみですねあの爆発はしないんですよね電子音が鳴るだけなんですよね火が出るぞー What the hell? Hi, Bikri Shimasta, ne? Tokoro de Minasan. It's got a present on a Nakamino Hoga Bakat Suruto Sakakuste Mastaka? But as she was on Nakoto, Stokotomo it the Masen, yo? Bakat Shinai, the it doesn't I desk. Then she won't get another duck at that. なるだけだって確かに爆発しないと言ったなあれは嘘だ
Well, at least she's up front about it. でも、これで爆弾の怖さを分かっていただけましたよね。いいですか本気で爆破したいのなら、まずはそれが爆弾であることを悟らせてはいけません。もし見ただけで爆弾と分かるような分かりやすい爆弾を見つけたなら、私は